amazing leader all the way from the beautiful Kenya. You know, Jacqueline, I've known her for so many years. And one thing I can tell you is she is focused. And I know she loves Mercedes-Benz like crazy. She's driving one and she loves Mercedes-Benz like crazy. And she's going to talk to us today. Uh, she actually has been qualifying for Ego Manager, you know, since 2018. That's like five years in a row, guys. So this is not someone that did it once and then missed out. No, this is someone that has been doing it over and over and over again. And I know she has gone through it all. She has gone through the challenges. She has gone through the ups. She has gone through the downs. And she has never lost her focus. And she is still pushing on. She's still soldiering on. So my fellow egos in the house, can we give a serious big welcome to Jacqueline Mumbi, our guest speaker, our main trainer this evening. Can we please put some serious fire there in the on the chat there? And Jacqueline, you are more than welcome. You know, you can take over right now. The floor is yours. Uh, it's so nice seeing you there, smiling very, very calmly. I love that. <laughs> Warm welcome, my leader. Warm welcome, my leader. We are so ready for you. And uh, you can definitely proceed and share your screen. And uh, maybe I stop mine so you can easily share yours. And then we get started. We get started. Are we ready, guys, for Jacqueline? Ready or not? Here she is. Welcome, my leader. Hello, everyone. Hello, Africa. Hello, everyone. I'm just excited. I mean, um, I was told I'll be training today, last minute, but uh, I think I'm ready. Yeah, so let me share my screen first. Uh, just a second. A screen. Enos, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, I can see it. Super nice at South Fork Ranch, right? Yes. <laughs> I can see you've been there clearly. Let me minimize this. I don't want any disrup disruptions on my screen. Okay. So hello, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Mumbi Jacqueline. I'm excited to be training you today, to be training the entire Africa. I mean, I have... 111 participants, all these are managers all over Africa and I'm proud and I can't wait to train all the managers on how they can get to Eagle because Eagle is an exciting incentive. So and also I hope my, my image is not disrupting the, disrupting the screen. It's clear. No, it's super fine, super fine. Okay, okay I can continue. So for those who are meeting me for the first time, my name is uh, Rotarian Mumbi, Jacqueline. Everyone knows me by Mumbi. I'm surprised that Enos today is calling me Jacqueline, but it's all fine. That's me. So my background is that I trained in hospitality. That was my training. But again, my work experience is that I worked uh, for Sarova Group of Hotels for one and a half years. Then I started with a job. I went into a global courier company. I worked for FedEx as a World, World Ship Center coordinator in marketing, branding, and at the same time, I was the procurement executive. This can only tell you I was the only manager with the longest title, but well, the pay was not that, that big as my title, but in Forever Living, I'm a senior Eagle manager. So my passion is that uh, mostly I work with professionals. Most of the people in my team are people who are doing the business part-time because what I do is that I help them develop a work-life balance and also understand that network marketing can be a career opportunity. Then I'm a founder of a very big team called the Team Lifestyle Prenua. I love lifestyle and so is my so does my team. So my hobby is that I love traveling, I love playing table tennis, puzzles, and also I love giving back to the society. I belong to two major clubs, the Mercedes-Benz Club of Kenya. It's the second accredited club after South Africa. I know we have a lot of South Africans on our wall, I can see them. I also I belong to the Rotary Club of Sukimao, hence that's why I love charity. So uh, my story, I've been an Eagle manager since 2018 till 2022. So I've been able to experience the Eagle journey because what happened to me is that when I joined the business and I was going through the levels and then try, uh, at the same time trying to make money and understand the compensation plan, what happened is that uh, 
I understood the eagle manager before I even became a manager. And I, and, and I got to understand why I need to qualify as an eagle because it has so many benefits, yeah? Okay, so that's me right now. I'm a senior eagle manager in the business. But what I'd like to, to, to actually uh, ask you, uh, what do you know about the eagle manager incentive? Do you know anything about it? If you ask, if, if someone calls you or when I, wake, when, when I wake you up when you are asleep and ask you, what do you know about the eagle? What do you need to, to know about the eagle for you to become one? Would you actually give me, you know, give me the details? So that was who I was before I became a manager because eagle became a passion and I realized that uh, for me to work out the forever marketing plan, what I need to do first is become a manager, but not only a manager, but an eagle manager in this case. So all the pictures I'm using are uh, in, my, in, in my presentation are the pictures I've acquired through the Eagle incentive because of the, I mean, the travels, the incentive that's, the, that we've, be, we've gone all over the place. So those are the images I've used. So this is an annual travel incentive paid for out of consistency in your business. So how consistent are you? Are you this person who wakes up today and you think hey, today I'm consistent, tomorrow I'm consistent, then after a whole week, you're thinking, uh, maybe I need to give up. No, when you, when you decide to become an eagle, consistency has to be the name of the game. Yeah. Then uh, let's talk about the eagle manager, how we understand it. This is a vital stepping stone for any serious business, building, business builder in our business because the Forever Eagle manage, Manager Program, it's designed to encourage managers to achieve and maintain sales volume that will produce income worthy of the various manager positions in the marketing plan. So today you are a manager, but have you thought of becoming an eagle manager, not only an ordinary manager, an extraordinary manager is an eagle. You can be an eagle manager, you can be a senior eagle manager, you can be a sapphire eagle manager, and that is where you should put your focus on once you become a manager, because that's what the marketing plan are, tells us too. But again, who is an eagle manager? What do you understand when you hear the name an eagle manager? We have managers, but again, we have eagle managers, yeah? So this is a person who has energies focused on their goals and dreams. Ideally, this is a test on consistency, yeah? So you have to, be, to remain consistent. You have to remain consistent uh, in your business for you to be able to achieve that. And I can tell you one thing is that for sure, Eagle uh, doesn't just happen. I did not just become an eagle by chance. It's because uh, I also I'm not, a uh, I'm not a product of circumstance. I'm a product of my decision. The minute I decided to become an eagle, I made sure I became one, yeah? So here are the qualities of an eagle. And if you're planning to become an eagle or you're on your journey to becoming an eagle manager, you should check, this is your checklist. First, you should have a powerful vision. Do you have, your, do you have a vision? as you, as a person, you as Enos, you as Mombi, you as a Mwikali, do you have a vision? And again, do you have a vision for your team? Anytime you meet your team members, do you actually, do you have a vision to them? Do you, do you empower them and tell them, I know you're a manager material, you look like an eagle material. That is the vision you should have as a leader. Then again, an eagle is very fearless, yeah? You know, there are obstacles that come in our business, but you have to be fearless regardless. An eagle also is tenacious. Eagles are high flyers and they nature their young. And this is where by now you need to nature your team. But again, I need to give you the tips on how you can become an eagle in the next year that is in 2023, yeah? We are remaining with five months to go, but I believe nothing is lost. It's never too late. I've seen people join the business, do their incentives in even three months, two months. It, what, 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 what matters is that uh, what is chasing you? Is it a chicken? Is it a lion? Is it a snail? So that is what determines uh, in your growth, uh, when it comes to growth in your business. So what I usually say is that your wings are already, already exist. All you have to do is just fly and become an eagle because you're already a manager, I'm training managers. So right now you're a manager, but what next? So if you're in this training and you've not thought of becoming a manager, first I'll tell you, become a leader by mentoring and coaching your team. Once you do that, it will be very easy, yeah? Because remember, you're already a recognized manager. And now your work as a manager is to look down your team and see who you can develop to become a leader like you, yeah? And that is where, where leadership skills 
are applied. Then once you become a manager, you need to build a proper non-manager business. What do I mean by that? A proper non-manager business, this means if you have other managers, regardless of other managers you have in your team, out of your team that is not a manager, out of your novice business, assistant supervisors, the supervisors and the assistant managers, you need to build a case credit and plus your business, of course, you need to come up with 60 case credit points. That is your non-manager business. Yeah. Once you do that, you're on a proper road to becoming an eagle manager. Okay. So I'll give you my tips to building an eagle team and how I managed to become an eagle manager. First, you have to learn to talk to people. So anytime you go to people, what to do, how do they, what do they connect you with? Like when I go to my friends, they say, Mombi, what do you have today? Because ideally we have to buy because they know me by my brand. They know Mombi forever. When you come to my estate, they say Mombi, just say Mombi. They say, oh, the forever lady, that's me. Yeah. So they know I preach, I breathe forever. Yeah. Then again, you have to focus on the retail business. Look for, we are told to look for 30 regular customers. But remember now you are a manager, you've built your customer base for over time. Why don't you go extra? Why don't you go for 50 or 100 or 200 in this matter? Look for people who can buy products, teach people on how they can consume products, how they, be, they can become smart customers, because that's what I do. When I meet you, I tell you, do, do you have any, you know, I, I teach you uh, on how to become, you know, to look after your lifestyle, because then I teach you on how you can actually improve your lifestyle by, by using some of the products that we have. Then by that, I make you open an account and become a smart consumer, either from the preferred customer level or from the assistant supervisor level. You find that I have a lot of customers who buy products for their own use, and that is okay. So anytime they're buying, remember, you're building a business. So if you have any novices who are using the products, still that will help you build your Eagle Manager team. Also, if you have any clients who are using products under their account, because I believe if I have any client who every month buys products worth 10000 10,000 shillings and above in dollars, that's about uh, $100. I believe maybe I should talk to that person and make them become a smart consumer whereby they can buy the same products under their account. And why is this, why is this, um, why, why do I do this? It's because first of all, the client will be saving some coins. Everyone is looking into saving. I mean, the, this global, you, you know, everything is so expensive right now globally. So if, if you tell someone they'll be saving a few shillings, they will agree to open an account and opening an account is totally free. But again, I also tell them anytime um, what I, why I do this as well is that uh, I tend to lock them in the system because no one else can go and retail to them because they'll say, you know what? I have an account and Mombi is the one who, who does all that for me. So I'm safer that way. Then again, look for friends, 10, 15, 20 friends who are ready to do what you're doing and share our amazing compensation plan. Talk about our amazing travels, anything in that marketing plan. People have been able to buy cars. People will be able to invest. People will be able to buy homes and all that. All that. Share amazing stories with other people so that they are able to join your business. Because uh, there's this notion of network marketing, that network marketing is for people who are looking into, who are hustling, who don't have, you know, who don't have anything that they are doing, but that's wrong. Network marketing is actually a professional business. It's a big business, yeah? Then again, have several supervisor lines that can give you at least eight case credit points and above. Imagine if you had even five lines, for example, which five lines giving you eight CCs, already those are 40. What if you had five? What if you had even nine? What if you had 10? You have 80. If you had 10 lines giving you eight CCs as you're developing them. So when you have these supervisor lines that can give you the, a minimum of eight case credits and above, they can give you 10, 12, or 15. At least you're safe, you'll know your eagle journey is, 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 is heading somewhere. Also, build wide and deep. When you're building these people, remember sometimes you get people directly under you, but they're not so keen in building the business. But sometimes they bring people who are down uh, below them, but who are very keen on building the business. So what you do, Hold those people, hold their hands and let them now build the business so that now it can come up to you. Yeah. And also you need to be creative when it comes to product contact, content. Those people who do business on social media, I'm not very good on social media when it comes to uh, selling products. So 
come up with content. As for me, WhatsApp works well for me and my team. We have a broadcast day every week. That is on a Sunday. Sometimes we even have a broadcast day whereby we tell our clients, you need to drink this amount of water or you need to do this amount of exercise, you know, just something to challenge the client. It's not always about selling. Then again, become your, a number one user of the products. So now you're a manager. And this is a challenge across everyone. I remember when we were in Cancun for the Eagle Manager that happened uh, uh, to, uh, in October. The, the challenge we are having is that people are not using the products. So a question to you as a manager who's in this training, are you using the product? If I walked into your house or if your sales manager, your country manager walked into your house from the bathroom, will the person find our two gel? Will the person find our shampoo and conditioner? You're a lady. You have girls in the house. You are a man. You have a family in the house. You're building the business. I mean, these are things you should find. When I come to your hand washing a sink, will I find our hand soap? Yeah, those are the things to, to, to ask you. When I go to your kitchen, what will I find? Will I find an aloe bottle or maybe supplements? So these are questions you should ask yourself. Before you even tell your team to, to use the products, you need to become the number one user of products. And it's because, for, uh, because of this one reason. Remember, we are running for incentives as managers. And uh, you find uh, we have two major incentives for the, either the chairman's bonus or the global rally that runs from January to December. And sometimes you'll realize you, you are, you're already in November or December and you're remaining with like 30 case credit. But maybe if you went ahead and used our products correctly, you'll realize instead of those 30 CCs that are remaining that you have to tell people, oh, you know, I need support or whatnot. Maybe if you use the products, you'll be remaining with like five case credit. Have you ever thought about that? And that's why I make it a passion. You'll find a herbal tea in my house. You'll find honey in my house. I don't care how expensive it is. You'll find all the products that I'm using. And I think in a day I use over maybe 30 products because I consume a lot. Yes. Okay. So other than that, okay, have lunches. Talk to your team about having lunches. Get out there and meet people. Anytime you think of meeting people, don't think it's expensive. No, get out. Money is, you'll always make money where money is being spent. Yeah. So being in the house will not make you money. Sometimes there's sacrifice. Get out, pay for that event. Just go and meet people. Yeah. Out of those people, you never know. You'll get clients and you'll also get business builders. Yeah. Then again, break down your new business to the annual Eagle calendar in months. For example, assuming right now we are in November, sorry, in December. And uh, assuming you are an, you're, you're running for your Eagle incentive and you have a new business of, uh, say, 30. And because we know we need to do 100 by April, you're remaining with 70. So, so, so take the 70 case credit for the new business, break it down into five and see how much you need to do. If you have zero new business, so uh, you need to know from now till April, you need to do about 20 case credit of new business. So you need to sponsor people. You need to have users who are using the product be before you get the person who wants actually to get into the business, yeah? Then again, uh, invest in the FLP 360. I've seen this is a challenge. Most people don't have this. If you don't have this, I can tell you for sure, this is, a, this is an app you need to have the minute to become an assistant, an assistant manager. I've had it since then because when you open it on your laptop, other than the phone, your laptop or desktop, it will sometimes it, it gives you the pop-up of a person who's doing maybe better in terms of retailing or in building. So you can hold those people's hands because when you build wide and deep, sometimes you might miss out the people who are doing the business. So investing in FLP 360 should be a must. If you're not, put it in your next year's goal. Yeah. Then again, um, have an accountability partner, possibly a cross line. Uh, maybe uh, Enos can be my, or, or Elizabeth can be my accountability person for next year. I don't know. Or maybe, uh, so, you know, someone, someone different, someone who will challenge you, not someone in your team, not someone that you can challenge. Get someone who can challenge you to become an, an, an accountability par partner. Look for someone who's doing better than you. Like for me, maybe I'd ask Enos or maybe I'd, I'd, I'd ask someone who's, da who's done Eagle for a long time. There's a guy I follow from Ghana. So yeah, so have that. And also have your team have an accountability partner. Yeah, not directly below, but across line. Also another thing, preach events to your team. How I met this opportunity, it's through events. I remember how I had come because I needed products for my personal health. I used to suffer from a PCOS. Ladies know that. I had a cyst, hormonal imbalance. 
But by the time the first event was announced that we had a forever East Africa rally in Uganda at a beautiful resort I used to know called the Munyonyo, the, the Speak Resort in Munyonyo. That's why I decided to let me pay up, go with the forever family. However, I was not interested in the business. But what happened? Jane Leach was a guest speaker at that event. And apparently I was following all the top leaders. As much as I didn't want to do the business, I was following them up. And remember, I had that, I, I used to do the business part. And so what happened is that when I went to the event, whatever was being taught, it's, it's like Jen Leach was speaking directly to my heart. So I decided, you know what? It's about time I decided to build this business. And that's how I decided, you know what? I'm going to learn what this ego is and I'm going to build a stable business. That's how I knew Enos. That's how I came to know Akina Blandina, uh, Blandina Njao, Veronica Kundia, because I used to follow them on social media because I used to admire their lifestyle. So events work. Maybe your local events might not touch me. Maybe might not resonate with my goal, but someone else's story will. And sometimes when they see their people globally who are coming for these events, the people think, oh, then this, this business is actually very big. I need to invest time in it and learn the ropes. Yeah. So uh, now after that, you need to work for your eagle incentive. And I'm going to give you the, the breakdown on how. So first, you have to be committed to doing the basics. Remember, we start by the basics, the basic. Use the products, talk about the products, talk about the business, duplicate. So you need to be committed to doing the basics and enlarge the place of your tent. In our business, we say, you know, you, you're always on a recruiting mode, yeah? Because you don't know who you're going to get. You're looking for that diamond, yeah? So, so this is how you can get to becoming an eagle uh, by the end of this year's uh, 2022 incentive. So in December, if you're here and you need to qualify for the incentives, I usually say it's not too late. You can actually do it. So in December, you just need to have 19 people do the four case credits. Then you will have 75 case credits. You can actually call up your people. Call everyone who thinks you used to do the business. I know it's a slow month, it's festive, but maybe motivate them a little bit, recruit a little bit, but have at least a people who can give you 75 case credit in December. And yes, you'll be on the right track. Then again in January, come about January, from the people you recruited in December, get a few people who can make a step to supervisor or to assistant manager, even from your previous team. But make sure that you have 25 people doing four case credit so that you're able to get 100 case credit. This is just an example I'm giving, yeah? So when you do that, already you'll have joined the 100 case credit club, and you know we are usually recognized for that, yeah? Then in February, have about 38 people doing the four case credit points. Give them incentives. Then by that, you'll have achieved your 150 case credit. What will happen is that you'll have achieved forever to drive level one, which is an amazing incentive. I've enjoyed this now for, this is my second time I'm doing it, but I, 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 there's always room for me to elevate to level two. That's my next year's goal. Then again in March, have 43 people do four case credit. And these people does, don't have to be directly under you. It's people who are under your team, under your team, as long as it's an unmanager business. Then you can have about 170 case credit. Then in April, go crazy. I mean, this is the last month of qualifying for the Eagle. I mean, big things happened. I've done it. I remember doing my CBQ, my chairman's bonus the previous year. I did, for the last month, I did 170 case credit. How I did it, I don't know, but I had to do it. But I did it, yeah. Then in April, do 50, have 57 people doing four case credits. You're going to come up with about 225 case credit. Then what will happen to you is that you'll become an Eagle manager for 2023, so you'll be able to go to Pattaya. But again, you'll have qualified for, again, forever to drive level two. You'll be elevated from level one to level two. Can you imagine that money? From 40, you know, from $400 to $600, yeah? That's amazing. So it's all possible. So let me take you through the qualification period of, of be, becoming an Eagle first. The qualification period starts from 1st May every year to 30th April the next year. Yeah, that's the Eagle qualification. And if you're listening to this, please note down. So for you to qualify, you have to be 4 case credit active and 12 case credit leadership bonus qualified. Remember, you are a manager. This should happen in your bonus. In, sorry, this should happen in your home country every month. So you're doing your 4 case credit, 4 case credit active. Remember, you can do this through recruiting and uh, using the products and retailing. 
And if you're an, a manager, I mean, even eight or 10 should be a walk in the park. I mean, yeah. And again, from your team, at least you should have 12 case credit leadership bonus. So if your case credits have been bad, bad, bad um, the previous month, just make sure that in December, you have your four case credit at uh, CCs active in place. And also make sure that your team is able to give you 12 case credits. Yeah, you included in that. Then again, you need to accumulate at least 720 total case credit points in any country. This was open. Ideally, it used to be in your home country, but right now it's in any country. So you can build your business anyway. I mean, it keeps getting better and better. Yeah. Then again, personally sponsor and develop at least two new supervisors lines in any country. And I want to take you through this because Enos mentioned it because people make a mistake. So this, uh, this supervisor, these two new supervisors, these are supervisors you sponsored from May. It cannot be from May. They have to be from May. That is from May anytime from between May and now, between May and April. Sponsor someone new, then they become a supervisor. Those are the two new supervisors. However, remember you need to have 100 new case credit points from personally sponsored downlines in any country. That's point number four. So ideally, let's say you sponsored someone in uh, early this year, let's say in February. But again, our goal year started in May. So the person from February or even a year before the Eagle year, their case credit will still count, but it won't count as a supervisor. It will count on the new 100 CCs case credit point. I hope you are together up to that point. Yeah. So the, their case credit will still count until they close the a year, a year period. They close a 12, 12 months period in the marketing plan, in their business in forever. Then it will disconnect. Their other CCs will go to the 720 total. So for you to count your supervisor, it has to be a supervisor you sponsored between May till to April next year. Yeah, those are the supervisors you need to develop. And there are only two that are required. Then again, you need to support local and regional training. Remember, if you're not doing this, your country manager has, has, a, has, a, has, a, has the authority to say, no, you cannot even go for the eagle. So if you're that manager who, who you're always escaping from the training, so I cannot train this time, Oh, I have an event, like a family event or whatnot. Remember, your country manager can decide, you know what, you're not going for the, for the Eagle Retreat because you do not support local and regional meetings. So anytime you're called for trainings, just show up. Yeah? Yeah. So I'd like to give you examples on how you can become an Eagle. So you can do, remember, you, you're required to do 720 total, but 100 CCs must be new. So you can do them either in your home country, even the total in your home country, that will still count, you will still be qualified. You can see the tick I've put on the last column. Then there's the example two, whereby you can have the 100 new CCs in a foreign country, but you can have the 720, even from your own country or the total, it will still count. And right now I had to add the example three because now you can do your 100 new in a foreign country. So you can even have 40, in another country, but still, it will still count to your 100 new business, yeah? So you'll still be qualified, yeah? So those are the three examples I, uh, I'm showing you that you can become an Eagle manager. But again, in addition to the requirements listed above, senior managers and above must also develop and maintain downline Eagle managers. And, and I'll tell you what, if you're an Eagle manager, if you're a manager, not a senior manager, a manager, you have no reason and you have no excuse to miss the Eagle incentive. And that was my personal, that is what I promised myself when I became a manager. The reason why I became a, I, I managed to do my Eagle for five consecutive years is because first I was a manager alone because when it gets to Eagle and other levels above, you need to have someone qualifying under you. So it can become a bit of a challenge, but I mean, the minute you're a manager, why don't you just qualify for all? Travel, build your business back then. Let people see you've traveled, yeah? So that is a challenge I'm putting across all the managers who are here, who are not even seniors. So um, if you're a senior manager, you must have one downline manager. Right now I'm a senior, so I'm really looking forward to having one of my managers qualifying so that I can qualify for my 2023 uh, Eagle incentive. Then again, when you're a soaring manager, this is someone who has five direct li manager lines below them. You need to have three downline Eagle managers. However, for this year in 2022, 
there was a leeway given by the by the by, from the main office that you can have one new eagle manager in 2022 what do i mean so i'll give an example with me and my upline most of you know my upline jacinta mukali so jacinta mukali is a soaring manager so for her to qualify for eagle manager this year she needs to have three eagle lines that are qualifying as eagle however if she gets one new eagle manager someone who has never qualified for eagle she gets to attend for this case if even if i qualify she cannot qualify with me she needs a manager it doesn't matter what time the person joined but the manager needs to qualify for their eagle incentive for the first time so ideally a soaring manager this year you need to develop one eagle manager a new eagle manager and you'll get to qualify and i think that's amazing so you have no chance to lose that then again we have the sapphire managers these are people who have nine downline uh, managers below them so they need to have six downline eagle managers then we have the diamond sapphire managers you need to have 10 downline eagle managers under you for you to qualify then uh we have the diamond manager you need to have 15 downline eagle managers and remember this these managers can be from any line it doesn't have to be direct you are, i mean mombi might not qualify but maybe my downline can qualify as an eagle so you get to qualify so it's any line yeah one from any line then we have the double diamond manager they need 25 downline eagle managers triple diamond managers they need to have 35 downline eagle managers under them then we have the centurion diamond manager 45 downline eagle managers and i think in africa we can do this i mean we need this money we need these incentives but why not i mean we can grow to centurion i believe we can yeah but what are what are the benefits of achieving eagle manager is that first building your you get to build your business the right way also recognition and exclusive business trainings you need to you, it prepares you and your business for chairman's bonus that's very true talk about it actually any incentives any incentives that we have eagle will prepare you for the for the forever to drive incentives for the chairman's bonus all the incentives then increase monthly bonus checks that one i can i can say for sure because an eagle's manager's income is more than it's more than double of that of a manager I remember when I became an eagle when I became an eagle manager uh when I became a manager my income used to be about one 1500 uh dollars but after I became uh an eagle my income jumped I remember to to over 2000 dollars yeah that's a good income yeah very fast so so it's 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 that's the benefits but I'll walk you through my eagle journey so this is my first time where I qualified for the eagle manager in 2018 my first time to go to the US, I had traveled, yes, but for work, nothing serious, nothing um, for pleasure. But when you get into forever, I mean, you travel for pleasure and to have fun and, you know, to have those bucket list ticked. And I got to go, I, I had to go to, I had to travel to Phoenix and we had an amazing stay. This is the team we went with. I remember I qualified. I took my sister with me as my, she was my second guest. Then my, my upline, Jacinta Mwikali, was standing next to me gave the incentive to her manager so if you're a manager always work hard you never know maybe the ticket the second uh ticket can be given to you then again we had i mean we were quite a number and out of this we still had four people who didn't get the american visa but they got to go to pataya in december so it's amazing so this picture i took this picture in an airport we are in a small hotel uh inside uh, Hill, i think hilton in the in the phoenix airport we were waiting to be picked to go to now our hotel and this was the amazing hotel where we got to stay it was just just amazing yeah uh the west Inn. it is a golf resort this is how it looks like forever when they send these pictures it's this is exactly what you get yeah then i get to meet for the first time i got to meet rex our founder it was very uh some people people got emotional but i think it was for a very good cause yeah that's my sister standing next to me you can imagine and my the, the team then again we got to go to we we had to go to the hall of flags i mean this is a place you have to take photos out of the 164 countries that forever has invested in all the flags are planted there so you have to go and figure your figure out your your flag with paparazzi it's all, all there so it was very uh, very fun then i got to meet uh greg back then before he was the president so it was amazing meeting these people down to earth crossing the corridors with them then of course we usually have morning workout routine this what this, that's what i like about forever you know you still have to continue with your workout even when you travel to keep in shape 
So if you're a manager and you're working, planning to go for Eagle, please work on your tummy because you don't want to show people a big tummy and you're doing the business. We need to show people flat tummies, yeah? Then uh, this is me at the pool. I can hardly swim, but I had to take that photo for social media, you know? I mean, I'm in Phoenix. Then we had a Palooza party. Anytime we go for these events, we have an end. We have a uh, party to close the event. So for this time, it was called a Palooza party. You get to dress like, a, I mean, a celebrity or I don't know. So I think I was a Rihanna or something. I can't even tell, but we had a lot of fun. I remember I danced till I took off my shoes. Then the next year, again, I got to qualify again. I was a manager, so I got to qualify and went to Dallas. So it was either Dallas or Pattaya. I chose Dallas. My upline qualified as well. She chose Pattaya because I'd been to Thailand way before. So it was amazing. I mean, this is the hotel. This was an amazing hotel. It, it keeps getting better year in, year in, year out. This hotel is called Gaylord by Texan. So when you go to the reception, because then I, I kept getting lost a number of times, yeah? Then uh, I was to go with my auntie, but she was denied the visa. I took my very close friend, a family, to Dallas because simply because her dream was to go to the U.S. She had the visa, but I had never gone to the U.S. So I gifted this uh, for, uh, as a birthday present. I mean, let's go to Dallas. And that's how we ended up in Dallas, yeah? So that is us in Dallas. Dallas is, has a warm weather. Everything is cowboyish. So we had a lot of fun. Yeah, the goodies, I mean, forever will always give you goodies anytime you travel. So those are the things we are given. And then I remember you wanted to extend for two days. Then we looked at the rates. We are laughing. I mean, $700 extra. We said, you know what? Let's go and shop. So forever make, make sure that they put you in a hotel that you're not able to afford so that you work hard and go for the next Eagle incentive. Because the, the location they put you, they'll put you in the most exotic place, the most expensive hotel. Yeah. So I remember looking for this pool for like 30 minutes. I could not find it. So I took a photo, then went back to my room. So it was just amazing. Then exercise in the morning with the team. It was fun. I got to meet a lot of leaders. The good thing about Forever is that we connect through social media. So anytime you go for, the, for these events, you realize you, have, you, you can see familiar faces. You take testimonies of people. Then at least I, I, uh, when I was in Dallas, I, got, I had to go to the Aloe Vera of America where we actually manufacture everything that has aloe. Then everything that doesn't have aloe is done in the neutral city called, which I visited one, well the year before when I was in Phoenix. So it's amazing. It's amazing and it's a lot of fun, yeah? Then when it comes to packing meals, rise against hunger, this is one thing I like about Forever because I love giving back. So they, we are always encouraged to give back to the community. If you're not doing that, you can do that through your Forever, uh, you know, your, your, your logging. Your, 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 the logging that you're given for free, there's a place you can place and you can actually give back to the community. So it was a lot of fun packing food. And I remember I was on the same table with uh, a top leader. It was amazing. Then I got to meet Drew, Drew Morgan. This is the son to Rex. He was wearing a staff t-shirt. We didn't know that he was actually part of the staff, but it was amazing. Maybe he'll be our next president. Who, who knows? Yeah, the Aiden, you know, amazing people. I got to meet them. Then we had our, 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 our end of the event party which was uh, back in the 80s. So we got to, to wear, I mean, our cowboy, cowgirl attires. So that is us at the South Fork Ranch. This is, a, this is a forever resort. Amazing. This is where the Bold and the Beautiful has been acted. The series, the Dallas. Also some of the soap operas that happen. So forever makes money out of these resorts. And we have some amazing resorts in South Africa. At least I've been privileged to stay in one. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun. Yeah, that is us dancing to Cowboy. So that was my first time to go uh, to have a cowboy event and uh, it was really fun having to dance new step for, uh, I mean, as a cowgirl, it was amazing. Then the next year, again, I qualified in 2020 for the Eagle uh, where we were going to Bahamas, but COVID happened. But uh, regardless of that, I was looking forward to the cruise ship. Forever does not disappoint. And like other companies who have said, uh, we also got affected by COVID. Forever went ahead and gave us, gave us an allowance of $1,000 plus a goodie bag. 
for the work well done. And I think this is amazing. This is something that we should appreciate, appreciate our company. This is, this is you'll never see this in any other company, yeah? Then uh, then I qualified again in 2021 where we are supposed to go back to the home, home office, but because of travel regulation restrictions, we couldn't travel and we were three of us. So we were only that we are only three eagle managers from Kenya. My upline, myself, and I also got to develop a downline eagle manager. It was amazing. Then you are given one thousand five hundred dollars plus a, a travel uh, that was for travel allowance plus a goodie bag that was sent to us. And it is always amazing to get uh, appreciated by the company. So this year we had qualified the four of us, but because of visa issues across the globe, some people did not manage. We had about over three hundred people who could not make it for the eagle. But I mean, we should appreciate these leaders. These are amazing people who are looking forward to putting our business up there, you know. So we went to Cancun. At least I went with, we were four of us and it was amazing. I'm telling you, if you've not gone to Cancun, put it in your bucket list, save with the forever money that you're going to make and please take your family there. It was amazing. So this is the hotel that we have put, the Moon Palace Resorts. I mean, it has like three hotels in one. It was just amazing. And that is how it looks. So that is me uh, outside the reception, you know, uh, having tours around, then at the registration, it's just amazing. I mean, uh, it's just fresh. My hotel, I mean, I had a jacuzzi inside my room, which was amazing. I remember um, I, I've operated a jacuzzi before, like, but this one gave me a lot of challenge. I remember water splash all over. But anyway, then uh, at the balcony, I could see the airport and the beach and also the forest, and then there was a hammock. You can actually slide there and just sleep, you know? It was just amazing. Then again, I got to meet people across the globe. I mean, these are people from Japan. Japan is one of the top five countries that do very well. So I took pictures with them. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun from the trainings. We got amazing trainings. I got to meet my friends from all over the globe. I mean, uh, in Kobile from South Africa, yeah, and uh, even leaders from Switzerland who have been building their business in Zanzibar, where we are going in January. And they, they have, I think, a team in Tanzania. Tanzanians know them. So it was just amazing, yeah? Then I got to meet uh, the top, I mean, the top top of the top, uh, Rof Keep, very down to earth. Then a lady I met uh, on my right, I met at uh, in Dallas, when I went for the Eagle Manager with the family, with the small boys there. So she's doing amazingly. She's a downline. She's uh, Emma Cooper's downline. Or Nat actually, Natalie Hill is downline. I got to meet her. She's been doing her Eagle incentive now for four years. Then again, the workouts in the morning, you can see me with our top leader, Enos. Yeah, at the beach, working out very hard, a fitness enthusiast. Then talk about the food. What I liked about this place is that uh, it was all inclusive. So if you're a... Uh, you wanted to have a break, me and my champagne or my sparkling wine or my red wine, I was enjoying it. If you want your beer, it's in the house. If you want exotic food, me, I love seafood. So I was enjoying everything and tasting everything, yeah? So it was all paid for. Everything, everything. And it was amazing. And I remember even getting a bottle of wine in my room with a note from, it was just amazing, out of this world, yeah? Then uh, this is some of the images we are taking yeah, at the parties, I mean, it was just amazing. Then we decided we had not gotten enough of Cancun. We decided to also go and extend for a few days, four days. We stayed at the residence in uh, by Marriott. Then we decided to tour more. We had amazing stuff. We toured around, around Cancun. We went to taste some tequilas. It was just amazing, yeah. Yeah, and we I had to take a photo, of course, at the famous Cancun uh, signage. So to show that I, actually I was in Cancun. Yeah, so these are from the Eagles in Kenya, and we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of trainings, but uh, what we learned from the trainings is that if you want to go to the next destination, there are a few things we need to work on. We need to work on using the products. I mentioned that, but we need to really work on that. We are not using the products, yeah? We need to really work on that. So we all know where we are heading next. It's Pattaya in 2023. I mean, Thailand is an amazing place. Pattaya is an amazing place. The hotel that forever will put you in, it's amazing. I've seen it, I've never been to Pattaya, but I've been to Koh Samui. So I know Thailand is an amazing place and I'm looking forward into qualifying. But again, I'll tell you what it takes. Uh, once you build to, to an eagle, I'll show you what I've been able to achieve. I can tell you it never gets easier, but you can just get better, yeah? Challenges will come along the way, but it's how you take the challenges. Those are stepping stones, those are learning, you learn. 
So I've been able to invest. I have a few parcels of land uh, here and there. Kata see this business, I didn't have that uh, when I was working. Then again, I've been able to complete our country home. It's fully, fully furnished. Everything is just like a modern house. When you visit, I will host you. Everything is there full. So that's, so that's what we've been able to, I've been able to achieve. Also talk about chairman's bonus. Earlier on, I said, for you to be actually to do to, what an eagle does, eagle incentive will make you achieve the other incentives along the way. So chairman's bonus, and this could be you. I don't know if, you, if you've, you've qualified for one, but it's very possible. So I remember last year when I qualified for eagle with the challenges of COVID, it was in the month of April. So what happens is what happened is that uh, uh, for the global rally, or the chairman's bonus happens in around April. So I had qualified to go to Australia, but because of the COVID restrictions, we could not travel. So I'll explain this income. So what happened is, is that uh, the first, the first, like the first uh, bonus check. This is from my bank. I was able to make about two thousand, two thousand eight hundred, two thousand eight hundred uh, dollars. That was a travel incentive that came in on the on the actually on the on the 6th of April. Then on the 13th of April, I get my chairman's bonus check, which was about, uh, the, that was that much dollars. That was uh, $34.74. Then again, on the 15th, I, get, I got to earn my, my bonus check, which was about $3,870. So in total for that month, I was able to make uh, over $1,000. And I'll tell you how that money came in handy. And that's why I respect incentives. I had I been having my mom's house uh, project ongoing and I'd gotten to a point whereby I'd finished the money that I'd saved. So I needed to look for more money to complete to the next stage. The minute I received this money, I just called the, 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 the guys who are on the ground and I told them, go back to site. We can now continue the project. Who can give you this money? You can imagine, yeah? So this is money I made out of forever and it was actually very uh, touching. Then again, talk about family. I'm not sure if you have a family or responsibilities. I'm the first one of eight siblings. I've been able to educate all my siblings to campus level. I've, I never went to campus, but my, all my siblings have gone to campus. Very good marks, very good grades, doing very well. Then again, I've been able to take care of my mom and also build my mom a house. The house, has, uh, we just completed it and we had a prayer, prayer day like three weeks ago. And this is courtesy this business. There's nothing else I do aside from this. Yeah, so these are the things you can actually get to achieve. Then again, what drives you? This, I remember taking my car, my mom seeing my car. I just surprised her out of nowhere. I didn't tell her that I was going home. So I just decided to drive with my friends and just surprise her with the car because she really wanted to see my car. So I'll, it's just a video I'll play it shortly. And as I don't know, it is on parking, it has been done. For stop caring, mom. So those are my friends telling my mom, my mom saying she'll do driving. Yeah, and uh, they were just making fun and saying they will train her. I mean, we have a very huge land. So yeah, so that is my car. I was able to buy Katasi the Forever to Drive incentive. Actually, I bought it before I qualified for the incentive because of the kind of money I was making, yeah? So I started saving early, then I was able to buy the car. Four months after I qualified for the incentive, so my money was paid back, yeah? Then we decided, you know what, we need a second car for off-road, so there it is. So that is, has been my journey with forever. But again, I've been able to travel to other places. I've been to South Africa twice. I've been to Dubai twice. I've been to Thailand. I've been to Phoenix. That is the incentive. I've been to San Diego to visit family. I've been to Dallas for the incentive. I've been to Houston. I've been to Los Angeles where I've, I went to Hollywood recently. Then I've been to Stockholm, Sweden. That was a paid incentive. Then after Stock, Stockholm, I decided, you know what, let's do a Euro tour. I went to Paris. I went to Rome. At least I've been able to travel. I've been to Germany twice. I visited the Frankfurt, Cologne, Dusseldorf, Koblenz, Stuttgart. Then I just came from Mexico, Cancun. So I would like to ask you, uh, with what I've shared, would you like to grow your business to Eagle Manager level and beyond? This is a question you should ask yourself. 
yeah because uh it's very it's it's important yeah you know sometimes you have to call yourself for a meeting and ask yourself why am i in this business i remember when you're in the eagle you asked some few questions first why forever why did you decide to join forever why forever and what did you see that forever can do for you so it will all go back to your why your why will make will 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 actually answer all your questions yeah and when you sit down and you you become serious and i mean you resonate with your why and you decide to discipline your discipline then it's all possible yeah so are you ready to earn your wings do you have an eagle mindset yeah i can tell you for sure when a storm is coming other birds seek shelter but the eagle alone avoids the storm by flying above it and i know sometimes we have challenges in our business it is i can tell you challenges have been there personally i've also faced challenges but it doesn't mean that you stop no you just continue moving forward yeah and that's the eagle mindset yeah that's the leadership you can you can continue going forward you continue being optimistic because better things are yet to come and i believe if you have a um, you know the power of belief the power of uh, the power of belief is so powerful because you know you become your thought when you push something so hard even god in heaven will see and things will happen and again we talk a lot about procrastination and i can tell you it's like a credit card it's a lot of fun until you get the bill yeah let's stop pro procrastinating so what i can tell you is that see you all at the airports and the beaches of the world back to you enos thank you thank you thank you so much mumbi wow that was uh, electrifying i'm telling you and your achievements are simply, simply amazing. Thank you so, so much. And, you know, if I was at a point where I want to give up on Ego Manager, uh, based on what you have shared here, the way Ego Manager has impacted you and how important it is to qualify for Ego Manager, I can tell you, uh, I would have been on panic mode right now. Like, okay, I cannot let it go. I have to push, I have to make it happen. So. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mumbi. And, uh, you know, one, one thing that I love is the fact that you've actually done, uh, you've reminded us of the criteria, which we sometimes forget, I'm telling you. You have also shown us, you know, how we can structure our business so that we can be able to uh, have an ego manager business, not just to qualify for ego, but actually have an ego manager business. And you know what? You have even shared that, amazing crazy plan on someone that just started ego this month of december like if you are if you go to manager in november and you choose to be crazy and say you know what i want to go for ego manager well there we have it the plan was there was presented and and one might look at the plan and say hey but it's tough of course it has to be tough i mean other people do it in 12 months and you're going to smash it in five months there's no way it's going to be easy so mumbi once again my leader Thank you so, so much. And can we please give a serious, serious shout out to Mumbi for really, really talking to our hearts. You know, you have spoken to our hearts today. Thank you so, so much. So lots of fire, lots of uh, massive, massive congrats to you. Thank you so, so much, Mumbi. Super, super happy with everything that you've shared today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>